So how does jumping actually help a pelvic floor? Because this person makes a good point that I thought jumping was hard on the pelvic floor. Okay, so here's the thing. When you are initially postpartum in the initial four to six weeks, I jokingly call this a trash bag of bones phase because your body is stretched out, your your pelvis is stretched out, your abdomen doesn't have support, you're a chemical hormonal nightmare. I don't want my people who are postpartum initially jumping on a mini trampoline. I don't want somebody who has a grade uh, four, three, four prolapse where their organs are falling to that opening and out. I don't want them doing that. Now, if they had a pessary in, that'd be okay. But I think we have kind of made people afraid of movement and movement is medicine. And I'm also, when I'm talking about jumping on a trampoline, I'm talking about a mini trampoline or a rebounder, a personal size 40 inch one that I oftentimes I'm talking about to help get movement because the research shows that actually strengthens your pelvic floor. It is very rare that I have someone who I wouldn't and can't put on a mini trampoline. It actually helps. But I do worry about people going to trampoline parks where there is a much higher rate of you hurting your ligaments because that uh, like height that you're gonna jump and how hard you come down, that impact is a little different than that mini trampoline, okay? so. I do understand why some people are afraid of it, but the research actually shows women who are postmenopausal, it helps with bone density, muscle mass, and pelvic floor. Like, that is a win.